Hi, I'm Doug Miller. I'm the Head of Clinical Negligence at Coffin Mew at LP. And recently we won a really important case for a young client of ours called Rachel Robinson. And today I'm talking to her father, Luke, about the case and the impact on her life. So Luke, can you tell us what happened to Rachel that back in, in, in Portsmouth Hospitals, NHS Trust, all those years ago? Maggie went into labour early hours of, of that morning. Um, was taken to St Mary's Hospital uh, in Portsmouth and I think from the first moment they went through the door it was it was just bad management, bad skills um, and professionalism really. Um, Maggie was in a lot of discomfort after a few hours of labour. Um, they struggled trying to get Maggie uh, to to be comfortable um, and then that's when everything sort of went wrong a uh, bit of a core prolapse happened um, when a midwife turned around and says I think it's an arm <laughs> or is it a, a, an umbilical cord I mean you think you know what what's going on here um, with that they they um, decided to, what did they do? They, they, they called for an obstetrician because it, it was an emergency, didn't they? Yeah, they did call for an obstetrician. Uh, the fetal heart rate dropped to 75 beats per minute, uh, which is extremely dangerous, you know. Um, they tried to, they rushed Maggie from a bottom ward up to I think it was well, floor five and there was no one there waiting for her literally I mean you've got a, you've got an emergency case on your hands and it just so happens that no one was waiting there was no osteotrician or doctor there or registrar there to to, to greet Maggie to, to take this issue in hand um, and it was just so happens that a midwife come across and started taking charge because no one else knew what they were doing. At this rate, you know, Maggie's in a lot of distress. Rachel's in even more distress. And no one's making decisions. It's, it's disgraceful. It is disgraceful. It's, it's shocking. Um, decisions then were made after a few minutes of what, what how to get Rachel uh, born. Um, and by that time I think it was just too late they'd messed up they 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 didn't do their jobs properly and as a result of that Rachel has been left disabled hasn't she yeah she has cerebral palsy it does affect all four limbs um, mainly majority in the lower limbs uh, legs and she does have issues with walking and um, a few motorization skills through the hands and the arms. For the last 12 years, we've struggled to get physiotherapy, speech and language therapy, occupational therapy. We struggled to get to see doctors to help or ease Rachel's mobility uh, issues with cerebral palsy. What this will do is, is allow us to go into private care for Rachel, get the physios in place once, twice a week, if not more, you know, with the occupational, if, occupational therapy uh, and everything that she does require, you know, just to make li life a bit easier for her because the NHS aftercare just hasn't been there. Okay. It's been a long, hard 12 years so far in the battle, and we know it's not over yet. Um, could I ask you to just say how Coffinmu has helped you in that process? Coffinmu has been with us the whole 12 years. They've supported us. They've been our shoulder to cry on. You know, whenever we do need something or need answered questions answered, they're there. You know, it's just straight pick up the phone. Yes, Luke, have you got two minutes? Doug, not a problem, right? What can I do for you? You, you, you guys are here, <laughs> absolute friendly. 
you're patient with us. And, you know, without you guys here at Coffin, you, there's no way we would have got where we are now. You know what I mean? It's, you've been an absolute um, fantastic company. You know, great support. And I, I can't thank you guys enough. And I know Maggie's the same. She, she, she's really, you know, we are really grateful for Cough and Mew for being, for being there for us. And Rachel mainly. But you're, you're very welcome. And at the end of the day, this is all about Rachel. And it's all about making sure that we get some security of compensation to help her with all those things that she's going to need in the future um, throughout her life. And that was the whole process that we went through. Um, is there anything that you'd like to say to anybody else out there that's thinking about investigating a birth injury but hasn't quite made their, their mind up yet as to whether they should do it or not? Definitely, definitely go and investigate it, regardless of anything. I had that doubt. I had that doubt, and I came, I came to Coffee Mew, and they looked straight at the case, at the records, and they says he definitely got one. Now I'm not saying that for everyone, but yeah, definitely investigate it and see if you do have do have a case, and let Coffee Mew and let cough from you to uh, deal with that case because you're not you're in fantastic hands okay look thanks very much for that thank you